a project here with a tutorial on 3D Studio Max 2010 edition and I'm gonna cover some of the basics in this tutorial which is showing how to create 3D text and using the backdrops, lighting and cameraing. Cameraing is that a word? Anyway, I'm not sure if I can fit all of it in in this video but I'll do my best. So first things first, this is the basic setup that you'll have in front of you. Hopefully it'll be the same as mine, you might have some stuff in different places, depending on what version you're using, but it should still work out all the same. So first thing I'm just going to go ahead and do is click this little shapes tab here, and that should bring up these selections, and I'm going to go ahead and click on text. Now it does, if you click right here to start your text, notice it's going to put it flat down on the surface, which, you know, you can always put it upright using all these rotation tools and that, but uh, it's too much of a hassle and I can't be bothered doing that. So I'm just going to quickly undo that using Ctrl Z to undo. And if you click in this top one, it will stand it up straight for you. And then over on this right hand side, you can basically adjust and write whatever you want. I'm just going to write test and resize that until I've got it on. And then you've got all your fonts and everything here. So I'm going to use Arial Black. So now I'm just going to position this. And this is where the 3D comes in. It's really simple, more simple than you may think. You just go and modify your list. And right, so you need to click on this up here on this, and then you go on modifier and choose this bevel which will actually fill in the outlines and you can then scroll down and where it says level 1 height 0 and outline 0 if you put this up as you can see it's making it 3D and I find that 5 is a good one 5.0 or 5.5 I like using them and basically what the outline will do is, I'll show you what the outline does. If you use the outline, it's just going to make it do that, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to put the outline on like 0 0.6 or something. And then you've got all these other options down here, which is level 2 and level 3. And using them, you just control in like another level of it which it can get really messy like that and glitch out so I tend to stay away from the other levels unless I want to create something that looks like that <laughs> which I randomly just did so I just untick that if you don't want to use them so there we go, we've got our basic 3D text and I can go ahead and change the colour of that by pressing M on your keyboard which will bring up the materials which then you can choose whatever you want let's just say we want the text to be white in fact we'll just say red like a different colour we'll choose red and then you can your specular level will make it nice and shiny and then you've got your gloss and soften and quite a lot of different options you can use if you want to mess around with everything feel free and then you can rather just drag it over on here and there you go a really simple making 3D text and you can preview it by clicking this up here, render production, and that'll show you the outcome. And as you can see, the background is black. And if you don't want a black background, this is where the backdrop comes into place. You want to go back to your create tab, which is this, and choose, go back onto this geometry, and choose box. You now you can pretty much just draw in a background quite simply, and again press the M and colour it in whatever you want, I'm just going to colour it in white quickly and then put the box into position and it's quite simple you know, you've now created a nice white backdrop for your text so it's really a lot easier than a lot of people may think and now I'm just going to add in a light now lighting is quite a key thing in this, lighting helps, looks more realistic and I like to use Mr. Area Omni. 
don't know why it's called Mister, but I'm sure there's a logical explanation to that. So you just want to click it in, and as you can see, it's now give it a nice lighting effect. And click this little select to move to at the top, and then you can pretty much position it where you want, and play around with it until you get it into a nice position where you want it to be. And when you think it's in a nice one, just click the render production just to see what it looks like. And you can see it's added a nice shadow to it. Now, if you've not got a shadow there, is what you'll need to do is click on the light and go on modify and make sure you've got the shadow ticked on. So that's basically that, and then now I'm going to quickly get into the camera angles. Now, if you're creating a camera, so what you want to do is click on create cameras and go and create camera from view and now it should say one camera selected in the bottom left then once it's done that you just press the auto key and find your starting position now let's say you want it to be I don't know zooming out of the E or something we're just going to zoom that through there and you move this along to the point where you want to finish the zoom and use this the zooming tool to just drag out and put it where you want and then you basically got a nice little zoom and you can also this is a pretty cool feature down here the orbit camera which you can do that with and make it seem quite isn't more of a 3D and there you go it's really it's really not hard whatsoever and it looks complicated from here it looks extremely complicated but it's just not <laughs> so that's how people make 3D intros they will also go and import it into After Effects and edit it on from there which I don't really like doing because I'm not that much of a intro maker but that's a basic tutorial and of course I'm learning as I'm going along and hopefully I'm going to teach you guys what you want to know as well so if you like these videos then rate them and you know, if they go completely wrong, then I'll probably stop doing them, if no one likes them. So it's not just aimed at you guys, my subscribers, it's aimed at a whole new audience that are into intro making. So thanks for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll make Winter Mario Advance tutorials later on a later date, so thank you. Goodbye.